everyone my name is samiat um i just thought i would do a quick video today on finances and savings i do hope that this video is short and concise and sort of gets to the point but before i get into the actual video um i just really wanted to stress how important it is to save like i cannot stress that enough i think it's really important just to have a pot of money somewhere in your account sitting there in case of anything i think it's advised that you'd have three to six months worth of your salary in your account so that depending on how much you earn that could be quite a lot of money but oh, just try try and save something all right so first things first i'm gonna let you guys know how i manage my finances and then i'm gonna tell you some tips that help me stay on track all right cool so first things first you've got to list all of your expenses so i would recommend putting them in a spreadsheet so just list out everything that comes out of your account on a monthly basis so things like your phone bill your internet bills your um, car insurance everything that comes out list it down even your amazon prime your charities that you pay to everything goes on the list and also estimate your petrol if you are driving estimate how much you spend to petrol for petrol for essential travel so literally from your house to work I'm back and also make sure you include the things that are not necessarily coming out of your account but the things that you physically have to pay for so you have to like transfer it over so for example like rent to your parents and things like that you've got to make sure everything and I mean everything is listed I would really recommend you go into your account and actually look at the direct debits that are coming out because sometimes we're paying for things and we don't even know so just make sure you really check your um, direct debits and your standing orders and really list everything down then your next step is to look at that list and you've got to be extremely strict with yourself and you've really got to be disciplined you've got to see whether all of those things that are coming at your account are necessary then once you've got the list you've taken the things that you don't need and you've cancelled it then it would give you a total that total is your expenses that's the money that's coming out your account every single month without you even even breathing so the third step is you've got to add all your expenses and take that away from your um from your salary the money that you have left over is the money that you have to play with but what you're gonna do is you're gonna half it you're gonna take 50 percent and put down your savings and then the rest of the money that is what you actually have to play with um if you're saving more if you're saving more and depending on how much you earn you can take more out do you get it but do you, i would say yeah give yourself a minimum of around 350 pounds to 400 pounds to live like just to go out to enjoy yourself like to um save for holidays like to take like maybe like 50 pounds every month to save for like mini holidays here and there because you do still want to have a life even though you are saving intensely you still do want to enjoy you know your life so an example would be if you make 1500 a month and your expenses all come up to 500 pounds you have a thousand left over with that thousand pounds you split it in two 500 will go straight into your savings account and 500 would be what you have to play with right so it's it's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward so now that I've given you an overview of how I pretty much manage my finances, I'm gonna give you a couple tips to try and help you stay on track. Always compare prices, always go with the cheapest provider, always try to save as much money when you're purchasing monthly contracts and things like that. Always, always compare. Don't just stick to the same provider because you can't be bothered. You really got to try and limit your expenses as much as possible have a separate bank account it sounds it sounds so basic and it sounds so straightforward but you'd be surprised how many people don't have a separate savings account and a separate current account so your current account would be where all your bills and everything comes out from and where you would spend money out of as well and your savings account would not that is closed like it's something that you just don't look at you put money in it and you the bird box you don't look at that account the third tip is do things yourself especially if you are saving a lot like if you're saving like 70 percent of your leftover amount you've got to do things yourself like if you can do your hair yourself do it if you can do your nails yourself do it like a lot of things like that you actually can learn 
So just try, like give it an attempt because when you start to add up how much you spend on things like your nails and your eyebrows and things like that, it's like, boy. The next tip I would give you guys is set reminders on your bank. So set reminders for when you go into your overdraft. You shouldn't be, but if you do, you really got to know real quick because interest rates are not friendly. The next tip, which I think actually is quite important, you've got to spend with intention. When, you, when you're buying something or when you're purchasing things, you've got to make sure that this is something that you can use again and again and again. If you cannot, don't buy it. Like really spend with intention and spend a little bit more, I was gonna say spend universally, but you know what I mean? Like just buy things that you can reuse. Know when you need to move jobs. Like this can be really sort of like touch and go, but if you're if you're making a certain amount and you want to save a certain amount, but that number is not corresponding with your current salary, you've you've got to know when to when to move on, like when to just pack your loads and I said that the other one was really important, but this this one is important. Don't spend money that you don't have. And that means don't spend money on credit cards, especially if you can't manage it. Don't borrow money, especially if you can't pay it back. And if that money, if the money that you want to spend, if you want to buy a bag, for example, and it costs £500, and that £500 is not in your current account, it means you cannot afford it. Don't buy it. You, you don't have the money. Even if that money is in your savings, you remember your savings, bird box, you don't see it. So the money in your current account, if it's not in there, you're not buying it. You can't afford it. Go and buy something cheaper. Do you know what I mean? Like you really got to be strict to yourself and you've got to, you've got to delay gratification. You can't just have everything on impulse. Like you've really got to think about the things that you're buying and you've got to delay it, especially if it's not crucial. Finally, what I would recommend is that you save for a purpose. Have an aim in your mind and save for that purpose. And I think that usually helps. And sometimes if you have no purpose, like no, no purpose that you want to save for, save for the sake of having savings in your account, like that emergency that I was talking about earlier. So just make sure that you really, really home in on why you're doing this. And that sometimes keeps you motivated. If you need it, you need it. If you want it, you want it. But just save for important things also i think that's it ultimately like i think the one thing that you just have to be you you just got to be determined that you've got to know what you want and you've got to be smart when you have a target for what you're saving also have a time limit so if it's like six months if it's a year if it's two years like give yourself a mental note of how long you're going to be doing this for just so that it can help you stay organized and stay a little bit more motivated um, it shouldn't be a struggle it is going to be challenging but it shouldn't be yeah it shouldn't be such a struggle that you're upset or like you feel like you're not enjoying your life and stuff like that but um if you have a mental note of when it's going to end you get excited about spending money on ridiculous things again i guess but maybe actually maybe you would um maybe you get used to spending a little bit more smartly no depends on personality depends on personality <laughs> all right